Today's Face Off Friday features the only two color e-readers that are on the market currently, the Pocketbook Color and the iReader C6. They're both using the same screen, but the OS is completely different. Let's check it out. <laughs> Pocketbook and iReader have existed amongst each other for quite some time now, although Pocketbook is the only color device in English. So if you're watching this video and you're starting off right here, the iReader C6 is not in English. The content you put in, PDFs, books, will be in English if they are English or any language you choose. But the UI, the user interface, the operating system, it's all Chinese. There's not even a web browser. So let's start based off of that. The Pocketbook has all of your books up top here, bestsellers down below, library, audiobooks, store notes, and apps. The iReader C6 over here, you have all of your books, your home screen, you have the store experience, which is just the iReader store, you have the audiobook experience, which are just Chinese content again, and your uh, menu here, which is my account. All of this will be pretty extensive stuff. Although we recommend maybe using Google Lens or something on your phone to translate all this if you don't already read uh, traditional or simplified Chinese. Now it's really cool, they do have a little pop-out palette here on the left in which has lookups, WeChat integration, it has voice recording, it has email, your Wi-Fi, and it actually has refresh modes. So you can actually flash the screen and trigger a refresh based on that button, or you can click here and choose from one of four modes. The further down you go, the faster the device gets. You can see it's very snappy now. And this is because they've implemented this faux A2 mode. And I say faux because it's not really A2 branded or X mode like the Onyx uh, products, but it is very quick. And you can see this mode's extremely fast, but it leaves a lot of staining in the background. The pocketbook unfortunately does not have any sort of A2 mode or any sort of speed mode on the device. It only really triggers that when you pinch and zoom certain things. Now these guys are using the same screen and they're both using a hexagonal pixel layout and we'll show you with some pictures up above here. Now they actually are using the same screen but they display things very differently. You will see here that his jersey's more white and his jersey has more greens in it and we're not exactly sure why because these both have sunken screens and bezels. They're not, there's no overlaying screen protector or anything on it. They just show their saturation in a different way. And they're both the same size screen. You can see the yellows are different up top. The reds are different. This is more pale. This is more deep. But they both display the colors very vividly, which is nice. Pinching zooming on the pocketbook is a little bit slow. Uh, it goes into its kind of only opportunity to go into A2 mode. It, you can see it's kind of uh, dotted and it's almost perforated like it's rendering. But you're not buying six inches for PDFs anyway, so it will look like uh, this. You, this is what you can expect. The iReader is, is far more quick on the pinch and zoom front. And actually, we haven't shown you the speed mode when it comes to pinch and zooming. When you do that, it's actually even faster. Now the whole thing does have a lot more ghosting, but you know, your experience is, is much quicker than if you were to go cell to cell on the pocketbook side by side. Another huge advantage that the pocketbook has over the iReader is notes. You can actually take notes on the screen with nothing but your fingertip. Now this doesn't have a Wacom layer and you can use capacitive styluses like this or styli, but the beauty of this is that you can do colored highlights with the swipe of a finger just like that. You have four different colors and you have scribble as well. So you can actually choose your pen, click it again, and you can actually open up a color palette, choose your color, and you can just start drawing on the screen in green or 
pink or purple or yellow or whatever color you want and when you export the PDF it will be in these respective colors and it's not that bad it is pretty responsive honestly and if you want to see an individual note taking video on this device you can head over to youtube.com slash goodyreader where we actually show both the coloring application and the scribble application and this is really nice because once you're finished all your scribbling and all your notes with a pretty extensive note taking application I must say for an e-reader your exported images actually look like this on your PC which is really nice because it's in full vibrant color so you almost get like a little paint application to go on this e-reader. Because color doesn't really play a role in the e-reading experience outside of say cover art, we're not going to focus on this too much, but needless to say they both do have long presses, they both have highlights, um, although the uh, iReader if you're just joining us is all in Chinese so you will have to use some sort of translator tool to figure this out, you do have a decent amount of text augmentation, small, medium, big, super big, you have line spacing, you have some font styles down below, you can see here, you can even install, if you are connected to Wi-Fi, your own font styles, and the pocketbook has a decent amount of functionality as well, you can go over to the text settings, and you can see that you have page layouts, you have fonts, regular italicized bold, and you have a bunch here, and swiping does have inertia on this as well. Comics look great on both of these because they're in color, but honestly the pocketbook is just formatted better, it's more vibrant, and it just looks better overall. You can see the differences here between the two. It's all just really small and a lot of the bordering gets in the way on the iReader. So it's not the best manga experience because you have all this UI overlaying elements. You can do pinch and zoom, but you still see you're isolated by the top and the bottom. And because it basically just uses the image app to run the PDF files that make up the CBR comic, there's no way to do any sort of augmentation to your experience of any kind. You can't change what you're looking at. Whereas on the pocketbook, you get the full line of text augmentation and page layout. You can fit to corners, you can reflow, you can crop, you can go and show pages status bar, and you actually get full variety of ways to change the brightness, the contrast, the font weight, the saturation, pretty much anything. It's actually pretty extensive. If you do make any mistakes or you go too high on the contrast or whatever the case may be, you can zero everything out and it goes right back to normal. But man, that is a lot of customization for an e-reader that isn't running Android. This is just the stock reading application and it's actually quite nice. You also do get those notes carried over as well. So I'm not sure why you would, but if you wanted to, you actually could scribble on your manga and your graphic novels and export them as such or screenshots. Now the pocketbook does have onboard audio, but there's no speakers or anything like that. So you'll have to use Bluetooth or a dongle to get the audio out of this. Whereas the iReader actually has a speaker on the bottom and it's integrated. So all you do is press play on audiobooks and MP3s and they just play. Now we can't really show web browsers because the pocketbook does have a web browser. You can go to any website you want, Facebook, Google, Yahoo, wherever. The iReader is completely isolated in the Baidu experience. You can't even type in URLs. So you can't type in www.google.com, it won't work. This is the store experience, which we can show you. We'll just touch on this because again, this is only in Chinese, whereas this is in a variety of languages. Your store looks good. This is your buying decision. You can download a sample. You can read all the synopsis and you can read what all the device has to offer for laying everything out for you. There seems to be a VIP that says member something and uh, I can't really read the rest. So uh, this is what your shopping experience is to look like. Again, the iReader uses the image app to run all of the gallery images. So you can't really fit to screen or fit to corners or anything. So this is what the clearest mode is going to look like on both of these with the exact same images side by side. So you guys can be the judge. So this is the light at full intensity and you can click the middle 
and drop the top down and this will allow you to change the light intensity. Although the pocketbook did something really cool actually, you can swipe either side of the device up or down respectively and it will turn the brightness off and on and that's actually really cool. But we will say that one thing on the eye reader that worries us is that it's using both blue and white LEDs whereas the pocketbook is just using white. So you actually get a better feel and a more white experience on the pocketbook. Although they both are using 12 LEDs at the bottom, the eye reader has a higher degree of Kelvin, which basically means it's closer to cooler tones than the pocketbook is. But the light distribution on both of these is quite nice. Yes, the eye reader feels a little bit more modern with its USB-C and its speaker built in, but it doesn't have a web browser. It's only in one language and you're completely isolated in the Baidu ecosystem. The pocketbook is an international friendly device. There's tons of different languages on it. You do have a note taking application as well. And although there is no audio, you do have a dongle that is included in the box. They're both using the same screen, but it just seems like the pocketbook is more vibrant. There's something about the iReader screen that just makes everything look a little bit washed out. Although it does have three speed modes and the pocketbook does not. There's a lot of pros and cons to both of these devices. Check out the individual reviews of both of these if you guys want more info. And for a Face Off Friday comparison between the Pocketbook Color and the iReader C6, this is Peter.